So I'm Darren Ng, I'm actually year two in NUS undergrad. So I'm currently a founder of SG Venus Flytrap. SG Venus Flytrap is a local community that research and develop tropicalized version of carnivorous plants to grow in the tropical weather. It solved the problems of having to cool the environment down for this temperate carnivorous plant in the past. So as a community, we educate our members on how to care and how to grow these plants, especially for kids as well. So in the past, I always thought that plants are actually quite normal. They don't have really like any special powers. But then when I come across a Venus flytrap in my science textbook when I was in primary three, it was the first time whereby these plants amazed me. So I really went to find out more about these plants and that got me started. So Venus flytrap may seem to be one of the most exotic plants, one of the most cool plants, but they're actually one of the hardest plants to keep, especially in the past. These plants are actually temperate carnivorous plants which do best during their springtime where temperature is low. But in the tropical weather, as you can see, it's not easy to keep all these plants. So I actually went on to start researching on these plants using biotech methods. The first one I actually researched on is actually known as plant tissue culture. Due to an unexpected discovery, we realized that through the process of plant regeneration, these plants are actually able to survive better in our tropical weather. So for the next few years, we are actually trying to improve the efficiency on all these plants. Growing a Venus flytrap successful in Singapore now is actually very simple, especially after our research breakthrough. What is so easy about it is that what they need now is only 4 to 6 hours of direct sun daily, and also tap water can be used safely as well. After the research breakthrough, actually what we have is actually on paper. The success is actually on paper, there's no impact on the community level. So I was thinking of making an impact to the community whereby we can see our action being translated into the community and benefit them in it. Uh, one way or another. So that was the main reason why it took the initial stage to actually come forward to probably start a community out of it. It started off with probably less than 10 members who are interested. So of course the first 10 members will usually be my friends who are actually interested after they come for a house visit. So to this point of date, it's about 4,700 members at this point of time. So I would say it's a very rapid growth in terms of the community size. Lah. So when started off as an online community on Facebook group, so members actually come down to my house to actually visit the plants. But then as the number of members grow bigger and bigger, we have issue catering to the members visit as it will create some disturbance to the neighbor sometimes. So after uh, seeking advice from the community, we actually decided to have a physical community garden and we come across Social Innovation Park. Social Innovation Park was quite supportive of the idea and then they actually offered this, uh, this physical garden over here. So with this community garden, it actually simplifies the process whereby members are able to go around freely to take a look at what part of different plants you have. So on a Saturday basis, we actually uh, open up a garden for members to come here and visit and learn about all these plants. So recently, a few schools actually engaged us for our workshop for their primary tree cohort. So after being tried for the first time and second time, we received a lot of good feedback from school and that our education workshop was impactful to inspire the next batch of students in terms of science. So we are actually thinking of heading into that direction to explore the possibility to offer this workshop to a larger pool of audience or probably to a larger number of school in the future. During this workshop, we share about my own research journey and also how I actually overcome all the obstacles that through my 13 years journey. This is the most important thing so that they can actually learn from the failures and how we actually overcome these obstacles. So it's something what we hope to value at in those workshops as well.